Hello guys, Vengeance are here, bringing you another BDO video. Uh, I'm going to get the self-promotion out of the way real quick, so if you're not subbed, go ahead and go sub. Drop a like, comment, you know, all that stuff. Uh, I'm sitting here looking at the loyalty shop today. Some of this stuff's worth it. I went ahead and bought this uh, Rare Courser trading box. It's 100 loyalty, and you get 10 of each fruit. Which normally, if you got to do a loyalty... Um, Training box is 3000 for the same thing. So, that's pretty good. I also bought the Spirit Dust because I'm trying to save on Kaffirs. And then I always buy the random things like this. Uh, Shikadu Luxury Box. For 100 uh, loyalty. Rest of this stuff, eh. If you're doing mount training i guess those are good or if you're doing any of this other stuff uh if you're a grinder you can get three of the supreme old moon scrolls for 100 loyalty and then some of this other stuff but i'm just now getting on video today been a little bit of a um struggle today uh, reason I'm over here, they, they've changed this event. So I'm in the area where you used to get purple, which I still get purple, but I'm also getting orange. So I think they made it to where the whole beach is both. Unless I'm just right on the line. But that's very strange to me. But we're going to go uh, dump some of this stuff. I gotta run back to Heidel. Yeah. So that I can get into today's video content. We got a few things today. Um, let me run around these walls. No, we're not doing that. There you go. Feed the, feed the pets real quick and then I'll I'll let it run while I'm talking because I got some stuff I want to talk about. So the, today's main uh, main subject is going to be cooking, and I said I was going to do it, and I'm going to. I've been hard at work, but let me uh, do some backstory first before I um, get too far into the cooking. So yesterday was a long day. I recorded the. Uh, well, see, you're you're seeing this a couple days after, uh, but Wednesday was a long day. I did a lot of stuff. So, I recorded two videos for yesterday, which is Thursday. I usually record these a day ahead of time, sometimes several days, depending on schedule. But, I recorded both the Fortnite and the BDO video you saw yesterday. I recorded those Thursday. Got those out of the way. Then I went and did some farm work outside. Uh, got our uh, our chicken prison to a point where I think it, I'm happy with it. I got probably one more session of climbing around on the ladder and finishing things up. And then I can uh, put the siding on and call it done. So happy about that. Then I came back in and did the setup for this video. I spent a lot of time gathering um, and processing. So I gathered a ton of logs and a ton of rough stone. And now I have 1450 usable scantling and I have 1500 polished stone. So I am ready to do the cooking. <laughs> I've got uh, 14 repair tools for the Supreme ones, which... The Supreme have 5,000 durability. I'm probably going to get seven or 8,000 uses out of that because of the cooking mastery that I have. But the rest of the um, scantling and the polished stone are going to go into crafting advanced cooking utensils. So what I will do is I'll tell my worker that originates in Heidel to uh, craft these right here and um if you look at the recipe it's 20 polished stone five scantling 20 uh, melted iron shards and 14 blackstone powder and i will pick one of my goblins that 
or there, whichever one has the highest work speed. Because they both have a 7% chance of returning 10% of one material, so that's good. Um, plus this one's higher luck, so I'll use this one. And have him do that. And then as he crafts those and they go in, they'll go into idle storage because he originates and the materials are in idle storage. So it's wherever your worker originates, that's where you have to uh, have the materials and where the item will return to. I'll pull them out of storage and turn them into an NPC so that I can turn them into the repair tools. And in my house down here, my residence, I already have an advanced and a supreme uh, repair or like cooking utensil i already have them set up i just need the repair tools you can repair them infinitely as long as you have the tools so when they hit zero durability repair them you only have to have one of each in your residence saves a lot of space it didn't used to be that way but it is now so it saves a ton of space um i'm gonna be missing my container that i had rented it cost 10 uh, cp you can rent it from the storage keeper and you can put the container in your residence so you can access your storage through that instead of having to run back and forth. But I had to refund that so that I could use the CP elsewhere. And in the future I might get another one, we'll see. But uh, my residence is fairly close to the storage so it shouldn't be a big deal. So there's the setup on that and then I will show you later towards the end of this video what I'm going to be cooking. Uh, I kind of went over it. In yesterday's video look at that lucky so 85 million and we fished overnight 19 million not bad at all I'm gonna go do farms real quick and then we will get into the cooking setup Let's see yeah We'll go do farms. I got enough inventory space to be able to uh, do farms. So, after I did the the uh, gathering setup for this video yesterday, um, I went ahead and ate lunch, and then I went back outside and spent two two and a half hours mowing because we have a ton of stuff to mow. Um, it was brutal, it was out of control, and I still haven't gotten our uh, little homestead thing here, our little farm under control as far as that goes. We let it grow up because of the, our renters cut it for hay, and then it looked nice for a while, but everything around the house kind of got grown up. So I am trying to reclaim it right now. I do have a zero turn, and push more weed eater, all that stuff, so it's not a big deal. But I've cut everything that is going to stay <laughs> and I left everything longer that we are going to remove so I'm gonna have to use some uh, chemical spray to um, remove the grass out of our our areas like driveways and um, just our rocky areas I really can't mow that and there's too much to pull up by hand so so that's where that's at uh, and that leads me into why I'm so late today. Uh, and after I came in yesterday from doing all of that, you know, uh, covered in grass, so you gotta always go wash all that off and everything. But then we did, I went ahead and uh, sat down and played through the rest of the Living World Season 1 on Guild Wars 2, so I'm into the first expansion called Heart of Thorns on there. It is ready to record. I'm happy about that, so I'm going to try and record some of that today. Hopefully, in the next couple hours. We'll see how I feel. Uh, and then I got some practice in on Fortnite. I actually won a game. I didn't record it, but I did win, which was which was nice. But the, uh, the grass... The grass and the mowing... I suffer from pretty bad seasonal allergies. Um... I don't have I don't have a good sinus setup. <laughs> my body hates hates my nose. My nose hates me, one or the other. But um that's going to lead me to my hot topic of the day, uh migraines. I suffer from them a lot. Uh and it's usually a, an allergic reaction to something. 
dairy causes it for me, so I have to stay away from dairy as much as I can. If I eat too much, then I end up in a shape like I am today. Or if um, it's an outside influence, say, say just seasonal allergies or, you know, a cold, I guess, could do it. I hardly ever get sick. Um, there are very rare cases when I do get sick, but most of the time I suffer from chronic things like sinus-related stuff. That's probably why I probably sound a little messed up today. Um, but I, I've got Benadryl in me, and I haven't taken pain meds yet because they just usually don't work for me. Uh, and I try not to take them unless I absolutely have to. Uh, but, and then when I do take them, I have to take a ridiculous amount. But we are to a point where... Let's open this Shikatu box real quick. Yeah, nothing. That's what I figured. I mean, it's still something, but... Uh, this can stay there. I'll sell those. These gotta go... All this stuff has to go to... Um, let's do it like this. Those gotta go to value, but they're not taking up that much space in my inventory. We're gonna make some room here. But, yeah, the pain meds don't help the migraines. Uh, so, for anybody listening or anybody that cares, uh, I wanna talk about migraines for a bit. Uh, what are these? Krios fishing chairs. Uh, I need to probably not sell those. While I grab this stuff, I'm going to talk about this. Um, so, migraine, my migraines are induced by my sinuses. So, my forehead starts to hurt, like, right where your nose goes up. Yeah, between your eyes and then uh, up your forehead. Some people have a very prominent nose bridge. that Mine kind of sticks out. You can feel it. Um, in my forehead. And maybe it's deformed or something. Maybe that's the problem. But either way... Uh, the sun is a swell. They swell really, really badly. And what ends up happening is that puts pressure on other parts of my face and brain. So it affects my brain pretty badly. Um, and usually it's behind my right eye in that pocket between your nose and your eye. Um, it gets <clears throat> pretty bad in there. And then I have really bad pain behind my uh, right eye. And it causes me all kinds of issues. And then the sun is just drained down. And then it gets to, like, at night when you lay down, it's in my chest pretty bad. So that's why I sound pretty bad today. Uh, didn't sleep much. But here is the deal with that. Let's see. We can probably do 7,000 of these, I want to say. Maybe. Let me remember the um, recipe for vinegar. Seven thousand leavening agent and seven thousand sugar. Let's see if I can hold this much. If not, I'll dump some of it on my horse. But. The, uh, the swelling, when it puts pressure on the brain, it affects your pain and pleasure center, the, the migraines do. So, the pain's really, really bad. Um, it's, it's really weird. And we need 7,000 of these. Yeah, that should be good. Um, and what happens is you can't regulate body temperature, at least for me. Uh, so there's severe pain. I can't regulate body temperature, so I feel cold all the time, and I'm I'm not one to ever really be cold until I, one of these migraines kicks in. Uh, I can usually tell when I'm, one is coming because things will start repeating in my head. Like I'll get song lyrics stuck in my head that I haven't heard in like months or years. Uh, it'll just be on repeat. It's very very strange. Uh, and then. The worst part are the the migraine hunger cravings. So when you're on a diet, that really sucks. For me, I get the hunger craving of like heavy breaded stuff or um, very, very sweet things. So like baked goods. 
um, I used to go, before I realized dairy was the one thing that was making the migraines worse, I would always go and like, when I'd get a headache, I would eat like a whole freaking pizza. <laughs> and I'm a pretty big guy to begin with, but I would literally eat like a whole large pizza and still be hungry. Um, I need a repair tool for these already. And then I would, uh, you know, the baked goods, I'm talking pastries, snack cakes, that cake, <laughs> muffins, stuff that are not good for you at all. But the heavy sugar um, piling into your system all at once actually um, alleviates some of that. I think it's because it triggers the, the pleasure center of your brain and kind of overrides that pain. Plus the sugar rush um, does that. And dehydration can cause the migraines as well. But the um, the thing that I've taken away from all of this, yes. What? That's the alchemy. There's that one. Uh, where is the cooking one? I know I have to repair this thing. Oh, this one's almost. It's almost full. That'll be fine. Um. Let me do something real quick. I'm going to... So those are the good ones. These are the bad ones. So I'm going to collect this. Collect this. Do a little housekeeping here first. Okay. So we'll sit here while I finish talking about my migraine rant real quick. So, you know, then you, and when you're suffering from migraines and you don't know what's inherently causing them and you can't remove that from your environment, then it's a compound issue. So, yeah, I, I ended up in a very bad cycle to where to get rid of the migraines, I would get up and part of the problem was I was having anxiety so bad and I was going, I would literally go to work and live off of energy drinks which my go-to was uh, Rockstar Punches because they're the only ones I could stand to drink. It didn't really make me sick to my stomach. And uh, freaking, like, really bad junk food in the morning before breakfast. <laughs> so I would get to work and I would just down a freaking Rockstar and eat a bunch of snacks and, and crap and uh, basically let the sugar rush take the, the migraine over and then I could, I could get through the day. Uh, and then I would eat normally the rest of the day, and I would be fine. Sometimes it didn't work. Sometimes the anxiety would override and induce it even more. And then overnight, you know, I was... It was a bad cycle because a lot of the stuff I was eating had dairy in it, so it would trigger the allergies again, and I'd have a migraine the next day. And my body's severely uh, resistant to most things. As I said, pain meds don't work so well. Uh... I was drinking 500 milligrams plus of caffeine every day to fight the migraines, not to stay awake, but just to keep the swelling down because what caffeine does is it restricts the blood vessels in your brain and nasal passages. So it would make the nose swelling go down and it would actually help, which is why I'm on my second cup of coffee today. But, uh, I've since realized I've got Benadryl in my system. It's an allergic reaction. I take Benadryl and have some coffee, black coffee, no sugar. And then the migraine goes away. Not completely, but bearable. Um, but I've had days where I'm literally laying in the bottom of the shower with the, an ice pack on my head. With hot water pouring down on me to regulate my temperature. Or laying in bed doing the same thing. I mean, it, it, it's I've been to the bottom of the barrel where these migraines can, are uh, concerned. And when it gets to that point where it feels like you're going to have an aneurysm or a seizure just because the pain is that bad. Uh, maybe some people know what I'm talking about, but it, it messes you up. It does some things. It very, it makes you have a severely high pain tolerance. That's why most of the time for like painful stuff, it just doesn't bother me. But for some reason, the migraines really do. Um. So that's what I'm dealing with today. Uh, it started kicking in, but I got Benadryl in and I'm drinking some coffee. And so the caffeine helps a little bit until the uh, the medicine kicks in. And so we'll see how that works. But it's all because I ate a little bit too much dairy. Um, 
yesterday, uh, coupled with being out in the grass with it flying in my in dirt, flying in my face for two and a half hours on the mower. And, you know, I mean, I'm susceptible to allergies anyway. So I knew that I'd hoped that it wouldn't be that bad today. Um, but I knew it would be. So I'm a little late and that's why I'm a little all over the place. But we're going to do this cooking video because I promised I would. So I like to use the Supreme cooking utensils. Uh, you can trade the uh, Imperial cooking things that you turn your Imperial turn ins, you get tokens. Uh, let's see if I got some. These are the fishing ones. Here we go. You can trade the uh, 500 of them for a Supreme cooking utensil. I've got so many of these because I did trade them in at one point in time, but I also, you get them from events and stuff. Uh, milk and eggs I farm. The dyed, Sunset dyed wool I don't really need. Spellbond toolboxes I don't need because I have all manos. The black essences are pretty useless to me, and I don't need, I have all the manos tools and cook's clothes, so I don't need any of those. So pretty much all these tokens are for, for me, are 500 of them go to a spring cooking utensil, which gives me 5,000 more cooks. So that's how I get those. The advanced ones, I already went over what I do to make those, which I'll tell my worker to start cranking those out soon. Uh, now, on to what I wear when I am cooking. I have Tet Manos Cook's Clothes. These I do not wear when I'm cooking. I use these purely to do Imperial turn-ins because the Imperial turn-ins are increased by cooking mastery. So I use these when I turn in. I use my Tri Manos accessory setup for the accessories but what i use for clothes are i bought these plus four gatherers clothes to level up gathering uh and then i always end up going somewhere else and using mana's gatherer clothes but i use these silver embroiders cook clothes plus four plus five ones were pretty expensive the plus four ones are not too bad if you can get uh a hold of them See, there's several of the plus fours for a billion. I will probably would have bought these, but uh, they're four and a half billion, and there's 71 orders. Nobody uh, does it. The last time one of them was traded was last month, so they hardly ever come up. But that is what I wear. So here are my uh, equipment. I'd use this and these accessories. The reason being, I want to get down in cook time. The Supreme and Advanced, they minus your cook time by one second. These clothes minus it by five seconds. You're still getting pretty good mastery out of this uh, with the Manos on, and if you're at least uh, Guru cooking, which I'm Guru 11. So I still have over a thousand mastery, which mastery, when I'm trying to level, doesn't matter because it doesn't mastery doesn't increase the amount of XP you get. So as long as you have Manos accessories at try or higher, you're going to be fine because they give you XP on their own. Um, and of course, all the life skill buffs uh, kick in too, so put all your scrolls and crap on if you're trying to level. For me, I'm on the fence about mastery anyway, because it'll, it, if you increase mastery, it increases your chance of activating mass cooking. Which is fine, but you're going to move through your cooks faster, right? Mastery doesn't necessarily increase the amount of byproducts you get. And if you are mass cooking, you're going to move through and not have as many cooks. So I think less mastery is good when you're trying to do like me and get byproducts. So you want something that you have to cook a lot of. And you don't want as much mastery while you're trying to do it because it will skip the crafts. And the more crafts you have, the better, uh, the more chances you have of getting byproducts. Let's put it that way. But I will say, if you land a mass cooking on a byproduct proc, it will mass produce byproducts. So you get 10 times the amount of uh, byproducts if it happens to proc on the mass cook, which is cool. It does happen. It happens to me quite a bit. Um, the last thing that I want to say is you can use spirit stones. I don't normally. It will increase your alchemy and cooking or decrease the alchemy cooking time uh, by 1.1 second. And that'll help you get down to that one second. But since I had points left over, I did go ahead and buy 
the outfit, which also reduces cook time by two seconds. So I wear it. I think it looks stupid, but I still wear it so we can get our uh, crafting time down to the uh, one second crafts, which I think with that coupled with the uh, life spirit stone, I'm pretty sure I'm down to one second crafts on that, on that. So I'm going to rearrange these just because it bothers me. Oh, and that's another thing about the, the migraines. I have very little patience whenever I'm in that much pain. I get very short and uh, very, very small tolerance. I get sound sensitive first, and then I get light sensitive, and it is bad. Um, and smell sensitive. Anything like perfumes and stuff, oh, they set me off pretty bad whenever I'm already. Uh, and look, I've been crafting these recently, so all I gotta do is select it. There's your recipe, one of each, one fruit, one grain, one leavening agent, and one sugar. Those are from the NPC, you saw me buy those. The grain can be wheat, barley, potato. Um, I think there's more, but I can't remember off the top of my head. And then the fruits are strawberries, grapes. Those are the two I can remember that um, I gather. And then uh, there's a bunch of other fruits at the fruit vendor that interchange with that. But as long as it's a base fruit. So batch production, yes. Max, we're going to craft 7,000. Look at that. I'm already at two seconds of cooking. But if I hit this spirit stone, I got nothing else on. It's going to do one second of cooking and it's going to fly through this. But I'm getting at least several procs every time with, um, and you can see that the t times 20, 30, 40, all of those, those are mass cooking that are still procking so times 40, times 30. Um, but we just sit here and we do this over and over and over, repair our cooking utensils as needed. And this is what we cook. Uh, cook vinegar until you can't cook vinegar anymore. For me, um, that's going to be a while because I have 30,000 wheat, 9,000 barley, 77,000 potatoes, so I'll use all of those. I have 400,000 strawberries, and that's really all you have to worry about is the grains and the fruit. I'm actually behind on potatoes because I, one of my workers is not gathering right now. I'm trying to promote him, but I do have quite a bit of stuff still. I got another 46,000 potatoes in here that I can transfer over. That'll be good. And then in Calfion, I have another 20 something thousand of each of those. So hopefully that'll get us to that 400,000 mark. And then, uh, I will start crafting the, have my worker do the advanced cooking utensils here. Manage crafting. Go down here and click advanced. Um, we want this guy because he has lower work speed. If you look, when I hover over him, that one's 105, this one's 102. Great. Change. Start work. We're going to tell him to make five. It doesn't really matter what I tell him to make because if I hit repeat on the workers, uh, it actually resets it to 99. So, and what I mean by that is this. If I hit repeat all, it, it freaking sets it to like 50,000 or whatever. So... That is a problem. Just watch out because if your storage fills up, like mine will do here pretty soon, and when he starts crafting, it'll halt everything else. So I only, I only have a few storage slots left currently because of all the crap that I have dumped in here. Um, but you don't want your storage filling up because it'll cancel all your other workers. But I'm going to sit here and make vinegar until my eyes fall out. Look, there we go. We got a mass... Um, plus 10 on the witch's delicacy, but this is what I'm after. I'm going to need like 100,000 of these things or something so that I can uh, exchange 10 for contribution XP 900 and cooking XP 30, but I probably need 50 or 60,000 uh, contribution XP just to get a few contribution. It's going to take a while, um, but that's okay because we are... We already have 287 of these Mysterious Catalysts, which I can trade for Contribution XP. I got 24 of these, which you can trade 10 of them for Contribution XP. And then we're going to do the Witch's Delicacies to kind of supplement that. So I think this is what I'm going to do today. And then I'm going to go record some other videos. I got to record Guild Wars 2 for you guys and then uh, Fortnite. 
which you'll see you're you're seeing this on friday so the other ones will come out this weekend and then uh monday by monday i'll reassess and figure something else out for bdo um but if you have any comments or questions let me know and i'll get those answered uh if you have oh i do have um i should ask this at the beginning of the video leave me a comment and let me know if you would like to see older games uh i've been looking for some other content to do and i've kind of been i talked about nostalgia in that one episode i did uh, about a week ago or a little while ago um i forget exactly how long but uh nostalgia has been hitting me pretty hard and i've been looking back at old games that i've played and i was just curious if i jump on like a private server of and i'll use my favorite game that i used to play as a as a as an example, if I was to go find a private server of uh, Last Chaos and jump on it and just go from zero to however far I can go, uh, you know, and just kind of go through it and see what's changed, uh, let me know if you'd be interested in something like that. Um, I, uh, I am curious. Because it seems like new games are kind of uh, dying out. I don't know. A lot of people are doing these reviews on these things and saying oh all these numbers have dropped by 90 percent and i saw some things on like elden ring and been dropped off which i never even tried to play that game it didn't i mean the the dark souls type game looked kind of fun but i'm too busy to jump into another game now um as far as that style of game i don't when i'm playing games it's usually on camera now um unless I have to do some stuff behind the scenes to set up, so there is that. But if, if you're interested in seeing older stuff, uh, maybe I could uh, look, look about finding somewhere to play that and record that. Um, but I just want to come out with some good content that people actually enjoy. You know, I can make BDO videos all the time, but I am going to run out of stuff. Eventually, it's just going to be me. Look, here's my progress. Here's what I'm grinding. Here's what I'm doing. You know, like this with cooking. Uh, th this is what I do on a day-to-day -day basis in uh, BDO. Check my farms, clear out my inventory from fishing overnight, feed my workers, repair my stuff, and either go back and set up fishing or and go FK, or I do something like this and cook for a little while and then uh, gather for a little while and then eventually go back and set up fishing uh, so you know it, it's it's pretty repetitive and making the same video every day is just not it's not viable for content people don't want to watch it um, I mean even even I get bored watching that kind of stuff I do like watching other content creators and seeing their progress and uh, stuff but if there's something you're curious about feed, feed me content ideas it, it always helps and it, I'll feel like I'm helping the community more if I'm answering questions instead of just taking stabs in the dark. Let me put it that way. So, but I do uh, plan on making more of the same games. The Fortnite videos seem like they're doing pretty good, and I've been having a lot of fun playing that recently. So I plan on putting more of that out. Guild Wars 2's been kind of fun now that I'm through the living living world stuff, uh, and I can move on to the expansions. I hope it gets better. Uh, I get frustrated with that game pretty quick, so I can't play it very long, but, um, that's always fun, and BDO is always fun, I always have fun in BDO, regardless of what I do, uh, it, it's a long-term grind, so I have to take it in short spells or I get, uh, discouraged on stuff, you know, instant gratification has become a problem, people don't want to, uh, grind anymore for stuff, and I, I'm the same way, you know, I, I get frustrated with the enhancing system. You know, I put in all that time to gather all that uh, materials and then end up with nothing. That's frustrating, but it's part of it. And so it's like a mentality change. You need to change your mentality, not uh, not just a, uh, a game change. But I think BDO is a very well-rounded game, and I enjoy playing it a lot. You know, whenever I don't feel like grinding, I can still make progress by setting up and doing like I'm doing now, do cooking and uh or fishing and anything to gather more resources onto my account now i'm gonna 
I'm going to lead into one more thing before I leave off. I kind of talked about the, the whole um, plan for cooking yesterday, but I'm going to reiterate. Vinegar is a very low-level, easy recipe to craft, and you can craft a ton of it in a short amount of time. So it gives you a lot of procs for this and that for the witch's delicacy, which is why I'm doing it. However, the reason I'm also making vinegar is because you can then take this vinegar and make pickled vegetables. Pickled vegetables require four vinegar, two leavening agent, two sugars, and then eight of some kind of vegetable. Uh, cabbage is the one that they use here, but you can use any of the vegetables found at the at the vendor. Um, I don't think it's called vinegar. No, I think it's still the it's the fruit vendor. So if you go, it's the same guy. You can go there, and they have, like, tomatoes and that kind of crap. Uh, onions are different. They do not fit in this category, so don't try to use those. My go-to vegetable is paprika because I have my uh, workers gathering it anyway. And I have a load of it. Uh, Calfion is where I have my workers gathering it. I don't remember which node it is. It's one of these nodes around here somewhere it may be this one yeah so i have all three of the northern wheat plantation uh gathering so i have my worker gathering paprika there and i don't think there are any other ones around here i don't have a node for that i don't know uh there's got to be something in the, in these nodes that you can farm but uh, I have my Calfion workers gathering it. I have 26,000 paprika there, but that is a vegetable. And that's what I use for the pickled vegetables. And then I have uh, 236,000 here. So I have quite a bit, but um, that's what I use for turning the vinegar into something usable. And when I say that, the pickled vegetables are usable because you can roll them into the uh, professional cooking box. Uh, where's it at? Here. Takes 18 pickled vegetables, and you can make a cooking box, and then these turn in. They don't turn in for a huge amount of silver, but you do make money off of it, and you do get your silver back. Uh, the higher your mastery, the more you're going to make, and you can turn those in down here at these little NPCs right here. Um, below where I'm at, like right down here. And so you get a bunch of the um, the cooking turn-ins. So you get the tokens for the Supreme Alchemy utensils, plus you get um, silver back. So you're basically farming witches delicacies for pretty much free, as long as you are gathering all the stuff yourself. Um, but that's why I do vinegar. And I talked about essence of liquor yesterday, and then uh, beer as well. Uh, so the pickle veggies are there uh, crafting beer is okay but you're also going to operate at a loss when you're crafting beer and it takes way more wheat than it does if you're just crafting vinegar so that's why I do that and then honey wine is another one that you can roll into a cooking box uh, so if you have a bunch of cooking honey laying around and I have my I have 310,000 I have a bunch of my workers gathering a bunch so uh, in terms of preference, vinegar is number one on my list. Essence of liquor is, and honey wine are tied for second place, so they're second and third. Um, so first it's vinegar, then it's the essence of liquor, then it's the honey wine. Um, essence of liquor is probably third because you have to craft it into something else, uh, the, f the fruit wine, uh, before you can turn it into a cooking box, but... The honey wine you can just straight out um, turn into a box, which is the skilled box. That's why I have those. So that's what I do. I cook those, and then I cook the the grilled bird meat and the beer. Um, those are my low level multi crafts. I call them because I do them in huge volume and get the uh, biggest amount of chances for witch's delicacy. And I just stockpile witch's delicacies and turn them in for contribution. But 
and it's good for leveling up your cooking too. Mine isn't going to level too much off of it because I'm so high, Guru. I need to end up um, crafting a bunch more before I get XP, but that's okay. Because eventually you will get to Guru 50 <laughs> if you cook enough. But with that, I've been 40 minutes of me rambling about random stuff and uh, cooking, so I've kind of showed how to get one second cooking, which I need to proc that back on. You can get two second without it. Um, now you can do it without the outfit. Uh, you, you'll need the plus five clothes though. So if you do plus five clothes, the alchemy tool, and then the life spirit stone, you can get down to one second cooking. Um, that's. But if you don't, if you just do plus four, then I opted to buy the outfit and get the extra two seconds there. So it's really up to you. You can do it without. You just have to make a plus five uh, silver embroidered cook's clothes. But, so there's that. I went over how to get one second of cooking, what to cook, uh, the tools and how to do those. And then you got a hot topic about uh, my migraines and why I feel crappy a lot. <laughs> um, so there's that. That's also why I don't drink very much or very often is because it'll induce those migraine, migraines too. Uh, and I just don't want to deal with that. So... I've always had a high uh, alcohol tolerance, but um, the problem is dealing with the dehydration and the sinus headaches afterwards. I don't usually get hungover, but even within like half an hour of drinking uh, most of the time, it just gives me a really bad headache. So There are a few nights where I can continue to get drink and drink and drink and actually, you know, do what it's supposed to and get buzzed or drunk but uh for the most part no it just gives me a headache after one drink and so i usually am like eh, i'm done with this i'm gonna go back to drinking water but it's another motivation is why i drink a gallon of water a day is to fight the migraines but But we'll leave it there. We're at 71, which is delicacy, and I'm going to let my little guy uh, finish cooking here and then move on to other things. So you guys have yourselves a good rest of the day, and leave me a like and a comment. Let me know what you think. And as always, until next time.